Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm gonna be and today I'm gonna show you how to use the counter preset and I'm gonna walk you through all the things that you're gonna get once you download it. Anyway, uh, the counter preset is pretty cool because it's gonna save us a lot of time while we animate some numbers. You can make multiple animations with it and you can do any country format. Uh, you can do Jimbo animation, you can do a speedometer, and this is quite nice because there are two layers connected and the rotation is actually translated to the number that is written over here. And of course, the wet dream of every YouTuber, the YouTube count. So let's start. I'm going to open a new comp and I'm going to call this counter. After you put it inside your preset folder, it's going to go and show up right over here. And let's write counter so we don't need to search for it. I'm going to double click with nothing selected. If not, if something is selected, it's not going to work. And now I have the counter. So first of all, uh, the most basic thing, the number. Uh, here I can change the number and of course, animate it. So if I'm going to put a keyframe over here on zero, and after a second, it's going to be 2000. And then after two seconds, it's going to be 1000. It's going to look like this. Cool. Okay. Let's make the last number 1000.23. And you can see that the default is not to show up the numbers after the point. So let's ask the decimal digits to show us two numbers. And actually I can so I can show four or even 1000 of them, but it's gonna crash. So anyway, don't do more than I don't know, 30. If you do more than 30, it's your fault. Anyway, so now I can see that we have two decimal dim digits. And if I'm gonna make one, it's gonna round, which is pretty cool. Okay, um, the dividers. Well, almost everyone can take a text and create a slider and an expression on the source text and create something similar to this. But the real pain is this little thing, the divider, because the dividers needs to be divided every 1000 points. And this could be really pain in the you know what. So no need for that anymore, because you get automated dividers. And if you don't want to see them, you can check them off. Anyway, we're gonna check it on because it's cool. And the most cool thing about it, if you don't want the divider to be a comma, you can change it by changing the name of the effect. I'm gonna press return. And now I'm gonna change it to maybe a dot. Oh, that's cool. And maybe I can change it to two points. That's nice. And maybe to that. Amazing. And actually, I can change it into a smiley. But let's take it back to a comma. So if we're talking about comma, some countries have a, a decimal comma instead of a, a instead of a point. So you can check it on. But I don't live in that country. So I'm going to check it off. If you want to create a symbol, let's say you want a dollar sign, you can create a dollar sign. And if you want it on the left side, you can make it on the left side. And if you don't want it to be so close, uh, you can actually make a space before the dollar sign. Amazing. Um, ah, you can put them both, but it's ugly. So let's take it back. And actually, uh, if you have like a negative, uh, let's say 1000, and you want the symbol to be on the right side of the minus, you can check this box on. And now you have the same animation. That's incredible. Okay. Um, let's talk about the multiplier, the multiplier actually multiplies the numbers that you sh that you see, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it's even more useful when you're making a lot of animations. Let's say this one will say, uh, let's say 123. And the multiplier should be one. And I want the symbol to be on the right side. No, let's keep it on the left. Anyway, 
that's nice and I'm gonna create now an animation that will start when the multiplier is zeroed and after one second it's gonna be one so we're gonna get the number that we chose and now if I'm gonna duplicate this layer I'm gonna take it down I don't need to animate it again I just need to change the number and that's it and now I can take both uh, both keyframes and maybe take those just a little bit in front that's it so this is really nice but what happens if you need to create a number bigger than uh, let's say 1 million as you know sliders only go up to 1 million and if you want to make 1 million and 1 you cannot this is where this stops so it's nice that you have the multiplier but uh, because you can actually solve this problem but you can actually use the second preset that is called mega counter I'm gonna double click again and now I can create any number that I want because it's based not on a slider but on point and everything else is the same but there is one issue with this preset because it's based on a point and not a slider so if I'm gonna go and change the comp to full HD you can see that the number is changed from one billion to one and a half billion and that's because the point is actually a relative point to the comp so how can you change this actually it's pretty simple because if you take the multiplier and you're gonna take the old comp width and you're gonna divide it by the new comp width you're gonna get the same numbers so it doesn't matter if you had an anim animation on the number or not you can solve this in just a second but you don't want to multiply it so anyway or that you don't change the side of the comp or that you're gonna change it manually or just make it from zero to one and then divide the value or multiply the value in the same way that's crazy yeah it is that's really crazy well okay so this is about the preset and everything it can do uh, let's talk about the examples that you get um, the first one is the 3d count which you can see that we have um, some animation on the text and it's based on the ray trace so you can get a uh, really nice depth to the text and you have the check please which actually uses the same technique that we see that you can take all the numbers and multiply them and actually animate the multiplier and not the number and you get the countries format for every country this is based on actually um, this is based on this is based on Wikipedia so you have the standard and the divided and the SI style which I don't know what it means but it's with spaces and you have the French one which has spaces as a divider and a decimal comma and in Italy you have this decimal comma and a point as a divider this is I think in handwriting in Switzerland and of course in nowhere you can put some smileys that's pretty cool and what's really cool about that is actually the plans for the preset and there are a few more to go but that's enough for spoilers this is the Jimbury which is a pretty cool effect and really easy to make because it's based on a ball action effect so if you don't know this effect you just call it and put it on an adjustment layer and this is the first result you just need to change the ball size to 50 and you get the same result you have the speedometer which I'm gonna show in, show in a second how you can connect them and you have every youtuber wet dream and anyway uh, you can see that you have a little bit of a jiggle on the letters and that's because this font is not monospaced and which I really recommend working on uh, because in monospace the fonts has every every letter and every number has the same width which doesn't cause this little jitter but 
if you're okay with it, you can use any font that you wish. Anyway, let's see how we can make this cool connection between the speedometer and the number. So we're gonna open a new comp, I'm gonna call this speed, and it's gonna be full HD. And we're gonna go to the footage and we're gonna take the speedometer. I think I want this layer and this layer. So I'm gonna call this dial and I'm gonna call this dash. So now I need, I need to take the dial and take the anchor point to the center of the dial. Okay, so when I'm gonna rotate it, there will be no glitches. That looks good enough. And now I'm gonna take the dash and the tile and I'm gonna align them. And actually the best way is to turn on the snapping and just snap it to the center. And now let's put it over here and then put it over here, amazing. Now let's create a counter. And I think it's agency. Yeah, it's agency bold. And let's take like uh, this blue color over here and put it just a little bit down. Okay, so now if you, I'm gonna connect it directly and I'm gonna call this speed. Okay, and I'm gonna open the rotation and I'm gonna take the slider of the number, I'm gonna all click it and I'm gonna drag it to the rotation of the dial. So I can see that I have the rotation value but not the speedometer or the dashboard number. So this is the time for a little bit of functions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press double E. Okay, so I want to locate the right expression and you don't want to touch this one, you want to take the number slider and change it. I'm gonna change it. First of all, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna cut it. So it's gonna be on the clipboard and I'm gonna write linear, open parenthesis, and I'm gonna paste the old value, comma, and now let's check the values. This is minus 143. So the other way around is gonna be 143, right over here. Comma, from zero to 160. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And it's pretty accurate, it's pretty cool. But if you want to double check, you can check the numbers. So the rotation is gonna be 144, I think. And before that, it's gonna be, let's see, 143.9. Okay, let's make this a little bit accurate. So it's gonna be from 144 to 100, minus to a plus 100. And 44 and now we have an exact value if you want to make the reflections you can go to our site you can check out our 3d glass reflections tutorial and you can learn about this 3d really cool reflections that react to camera and objects and you can learn a few things about the camera movement itself so watch it it's gonna make you smarter Okay, so now you are ready to animate this. So we're gonna go to the rotation dial and we're gonna put a keyframe over here and after two seconds, it's gonna be on 88. And let's wiggle this a bit. Wiggle seven times a second, I think in 10 degrees. And we have this animation. Okay, we are ready to go back to the future. Anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful and help you get started with the preset. Enjoy it and don't forget to follow us on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or all of them. Be my guest so you can stay updated with the latest tutorials and tools. Anyway, I am Liran Tabib for Video DNA. I'll see you next time.